వెరీ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ వెల్కమ్ టు కెరీర్ టైమ్స్ ఇవాళ కెరీర్ టైమ్స్ లో మన టాపిక్ జేఈ అడ్వాన్స్ ప్రిపరేషన్ ప్రణాళిక ఏ విధంగా ఉండాలి మరి ఐఐటి కళను సాధించడానికి మనకు గైడెన్స్ ఇస్తూ మంచి రైట్ టిప్స్ అందించడానికి మనతో పాటు స్టూడియోలో ఉన్నారు చైర్మన్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్టిట్యూడ్ క్లాసెస్ మిస్టర్ చంద్రశేఖర్ జోషిల గారు వెరీ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ సార్ సార్ ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ హౌ డిడ్ యూ స్టార్ట్ యువర్ జర్నీ యా వెన్ ఐఎమ్ టాకింగ్ ఆఫ్ జర్నీ ఐఎమ్ టాకింగ్ ఆఫ్ టూ డిఫరెంట్ రోల్స్ one as a teacher and one as an institute owner okay teacher i started in the year 91 just had few classes in hyderabad from there straight away shifted to delhi started my j training for students from 93 seriously okay so i picked up my teaching skills the ability to pass on the knowledge what i have to the students from delhi itself so the style of delhi is whatever you know in a crisp and sweet manner see that it reaches to the children effectively okay that's the basic idea from there delhi i shifted to hyderabad again worked in some good institutions like ramya classes where mm-hmm. we could produce around 102 selections out of 120 oh. again moved to rajasthan kota then gujarat almost across the country length and breadth worked in mumbai nasik pune everywhere okay so that's one journey as a teacher look at my background born in adilabad a mining town okay. bellampalli and then the first success as institute owner it started from neiveli another mining town which is in tamil nadu so that is actually the main success which i can talk of whatever teaching experience i had i used those skills picked up my public relation skills good teachers i could gather and take them to neiveli then i started scripting the success one particular year when i went there the chairman of neiveli lignite corporation he was a patent for the cultural association telugu samiti they were actually running the courses for iit j training so he asked you are an individual and how do you think you will manage the complete show i said i have few friends across the country so i think i can manage the show properly he said okay let us start with a small program just do a crash course and based on the crash course we'll just see how you can handle things he said okay fine so i took one of my friend mr rahul tuli from delhi so we two were there chemistry some other teacher was doing there and then with about 20 days of uh, crash course for je advance we could produce around 22 selections in that je rank best rank was 500 so the kind of result which we gave in neiveli which was a supposed to be like you know town where not good teachers are available even for both tuitions also okay so that started the journey of success as an institute owner then the next year again we have done another crash program for je advance after that year after year we started scripting success for so many students of neiveli okay. so that's actually success which i started from tamil nadu then so now in tamil nadu i have around 10 centers across yeah. length and breadth of tamil nadu in tamil nadu okay. yes now after the tamil nadu success i started in hyderabad in nalakunta where we have a center catering to limited students we have about 160 students last year out of that the second year students are about 45 out of 45 we expect around 30 to 35 students to clear the je mains exam and with that the journey is continuing oh. and i wish more students get the benefit of quality teaching good teachers that's what is my dream and my journey is basically as an average student just a below average student not even average i got the opportunity to face the best talent of the country and with that i picked up whatever skills which i have in teaching my entire success goes to my students with whom i learned everything okay i am not a good reader i am not a good hard working teacher whatever i picked up in the classroom in front of the students i picked up okay so thanks to all my students who have contributed to my knowledge and because of whom i am here oh so i can only just say that what i am today is just because of my students okay so this is what i can really talk of my journey 
for name sake I did my MSc in statistics from Usmani University without much of knowledge and then my BSc from New Science College Amir Pet. Okay. Studied in a government school, just a government school and then in Secunderabad and with this particular kind of study no one can aspire to reach my level unless I have such kind of students. Okay. So, lot of students and lot of knowledge everything I gain just by classroom teaching. So, I think this is what I can talk of my journey and the journey is continuing and I wish to continue it further. Oh, very fine sir, very fine and uh, happy to hear these words. Thank and you. And sir, uh, like uh, what do you think about uh, right now about the uh, coaching institutions? Like is they killing about uh, this natural instincts and the creativity of uh, students? See, this is I mean a question which is asked by most of the times, many of the times we see like people talk of like coaching institute teachers, they do not really do any quality work and uh, they spoil the what you call knowledge which the stu students can acquire. These are all questions which we keep uh, you know listening to lot of people, parents everywhere. Honestly speaking if you ask me the best of the talent I mean teaching is available at the plus 2 level who are training for JE advanced or JE mains level. Okay. Whatever we know, we know it perfectly and we deliver and whatever like the question which generally the people have objection is like you know you unnecessarily strain the child and you unnecessarily like you know give information which is not useful. These okay. are all questions which we counter or encounter from parents, from teachers, from you know professors and academicians lot of things. All said and done I tell you like honestly this is the only place where we clear every doubt of the student. So, like when we were studying in school like you ask a question like the teacher used to say like you are supposed to learn this at the school level I mean at the lower level why are you asking me now. Hmm. Sometimes you get a question like you ask at the right level he will tell you this you know you learn in further stages. <laughs> so, you will never get your doubt clarified. Yes. But believe me this is the place where we clarify every doubt to the child okay. which is relevant for the exam. Maybe our knowledge when it comes to professors may be limited, but whatever knowledge we have, we have thoroughly and then we can train student who is actually interested for JE. Okay. Now, if I am asked about like you know you are killing the talent of the child, it is definitely not true because like if a child is good right, you cannot spoil him definitely. Mm. If a child is great, he will definitely make you a good teacher child is average he will give you patience. Okay. If child is below average like you know you will start thinking like you know I was a student I was like him. So, let me actually work on that particular student and see that he improves his knowledge. Okay. So, at every point of time good students, extraordinary students, average students, below average students every student we are facing and we are trying to train them. When we are training them definitely we will understand few things like whatever we were lacking I mean those things we are able to provide to our children like thousands of students like I must have interacted with at least 2 3 lakh students and thousands of hours of classroom teaching all this is like you know is going to generation after generation to the students like whatever I pick up from a child that I am passing to the next generation that generation student is next generation. Okay. In this case like the best of the methods the best of the knowledge whatever I have I pass on to the generation after generation to the children. So, definitely the entire knowledge which I have is because of my students that I am passing it to the children and they are learning everything from me. Okay. From me means indirectly from my past students. Okay. So, definitely we are not killing the creativity, we are improving their knowledge. The best of the teachers in the industry are at the plus 2 level. Okay. This is what I can watch for. I have great teachers within my team at the same time I interact with wonderful teachers. They are really contributing to the children and to the society that is what I can tell you. Okay, yes. So fine. Then how to plan for the JE advanced preparations? It is very important uh, thing right? Yes. Now coming to the uh, JE advanced. Now after the JE mains exam approximately around uh, 12 lakh people approximately I mean have taken the JE mains test. Uh, few have taken uh, offline and few have taken online. I mean the majority of the students who took offline are more and the students who took online are less. 
and luckily this time the girls percentage also increased actually so i mean approximately around 28% of the people who took the je advance they are from girls i mean okay. their girls percentage is increasing okay so one new news item i have just read they are about to implement around 40 14% reservation for girls in iits if that also comes the percentage of girls appearing for je exam will increase i mean i expect from 28 it will go to 50% next year oh. so if this happens the number of girls students seriously preparing for je will become more okay out of those 12 lakh students they select around 2 lakh 20000 students for je advance okay so out of that 22 i mean 2 lakh 20000 students now they have to screen and select around 11000 and odd students for je final selection okay now two three problems with this je advance examination problem of one is like majority of the students who write the je mains examination who score in the range of 150 to 180 they feel that okay i am okay with what i got and 170 180 now because board marks are not being included for the ranking so i get one reasonable good nit i am okay with whatever i got i will not prepare for je advance examination good students who score 180 170 190 these students also drop out for preparation for je advance okay. they think i have slogged a lot especially in telugu speaking states if you take they start their preparation for je from say 7th class or 6th class onwards they think that i have worked very hard so i don't want to prepare further and i don't want to study further so with this idea what happens is they think that i am cool i don't want to work further and then they stop preparing for je advance the serious lot will be the people who score around 180 onwards till 300 310 320 depending on 340 sometimes the topper score and on 340 okay now maintaining them from the je mains exam because je mains exam keys are usually released by most of the institutions most of the students know after the exam they know how many marks they are going to get and they are cool after the exam they decide that okay i will not prepare further okay whoever are there left out maintaining them for the next 45 days or next 50 days till the je advance exam is the most difficult task first of all like in my institute there are about 20 students who crossed 170 marks and they were there on day 1 in the class now there are only 7 students who are attending the je advance program the idea is very simple whoever fights till the end are the winners now all the 7 who are there in the class today are going to be the winners they'll get the final selection that means basically it is not just knowledge it is endurance test students okay the je advance test is approximately they have to write two tests one in the morning one in the afternoon it is about 6 hours test first of all most of the people can't sit for 6 hours like 3 hours in one stretch they have to sit and take the exam so first of all stamina then whatever knowledge they have consolidating that and writing that in the exam the pattern of the exam is unknown how many questions are going to be asked that is also unknown how many what do you call questions from one particular chapter that also unknown everything is like you know you are just going into a territory which is nothing known to you okay like for example like all circus tigers will go away from the exam the real tigers who are there they are going to be the winners finally ultimately okay now what happens is like one time like you know you have an exam with only 16 questions in paper 1 and you think that okay i am ready with 16 questions next time it may be 30 questions for the same exam or it may be only 12 questions it Everything may be 18 questions okay. so how many questions are going to be asked that is not known. known that is not decided before okay unless the student takes the exam okay so therefore number of questions is again a big suspense so you can't prepare how many questions you are going to get but okay. generally when you look at the je advance examination any student who is average if he is scoring 50% marks he will get some selection okay so that means whatever be the number of questions like the main idea is like i am supposed to score 50% so once anyone scores 50% questions right so right or at least supposed to be right now he need not worry he is not an aspirant he is an iit and already that he can think okay so basic idea is 50% of the questions if you can target that itself is going to give him lot of confidence you can just raise his collar and say that i am not an aspirant now i am an iit and now okay so maintaining them for the 45 to 50 days after the je mains exam is extremely difficult and extremely tough for every teacher for every institution 
okay. and for every parent also. That means okay. what? The coaching institutions, the teachers, the parents and the students, all of them put together is the final JE advanced selection. Okay. So, JE advanced selection is not just role of one teacher, it is the role of teacher, parents, student and the coaching institution. Okay. All put together is going to be JE okay. advanced examination. Most of the people, they are really scared to death. Like yesterday, I mean, few people came from to me and they said, Sir, I just want to leave this preparation. He was literally crying. I said, why? Sir, in the paper, if I see there are 20 questions, I am not able to solve two questions. So, I mean, I have prepared and I am getting around 200 marks in JE mains examination, but if I see the question paper which you are giving, I am not able to solve two questions. So, how do I manage the JE advanced exam? I told him, if you can do two questions, it is great. If you prepare for another one week, you will be able to solve five question. Solve okay. for another one week, you will be able to solve 10 question. That is going to be your selection. Okay. I try to convince him. It is not that two questions or three questions which are going to matter. Like whatever questions which are left out, see why you are not able to solve them. Because none of these questions are going to be asked in the exam. Okay. So, whatever we are preparing you, we are preparing you for the concepts. So, whatever concepts you are preparing, that concepts are going to help you. So, honestly, if you okay. take maths about 100 concepts and chemistry around 150 concepts and physics about 100 concepts, put together around 150, 100 and around 350 to 400 concepts. These concepts you are able to understand properly, that is going to be your IIT selection. Okay. So, it is difficult to convince anyone after they write the JE exam for two or hour, three hours and again in the afternoon three hours at the end of the day they think that okay if they, the question paper is for 360 marks or 400 marks they get 20 marks or 30 marks they get scared to death. Okay. So, then picking them from that particular stage okay. to the what you call exam date is going to be the toughest task for any teacher or any institute owner or any parent or anyone who is actually interacting with that. Okay. So, this is going to be the toughest job. So, once okay. this can be handled, so rest of the things become easy. Okay. So, the strategy is first holding them till the last day. Suppose anyone can wait till the last day. Suppose tomorrow is the exam. Even today also if the child is with me, I am going to still help him something and that is going to be the final stage where he can think that yes, I am confident I can go for the exam. Anyone drops out in between, obviously drop out from the main exam also. Okay. So, therefore, Sustaining till the last moment is the basic secret for JE advance. Okay. And this is going to be what I can tell you. Okay, fine, sir. Kerry time slip short break this kunam. Stay tuned. Temple jewels 7 minus 1, 6 percent. Antique jewels 9 minus 1, 8 percent. Akshay Tritya Nadu, Tarugulu, Maroka Satam Thakimpo, Lalita Jewelry. Under the Andhu Party Tharello, Koruku ne dani kante yekuga andi chila samstha Kapil Homes. Kapil Homes lo yillu, Anandala hari yillu. Parliament to assembly yenni kalu oke sare sadhya ma. Rajkiya party lo yevan tu nai. Yenikala Sangam, Sitanga Unda Okesari Yenikalapai, HM TV Editor in Chief, Professor K. Nageshwar, Samakra Visleshana. Weekend with Professor K. Nageshwar, Scientrum Yedukun Telepo. Amma Vodi Padakanto, Tali Bidak Shemam Anaru. Balintalu, Sisubulu, Mruthi Vodiki, Yenduku Cheritunaru Prasuti Aspatru Lo, Marana Mrudangam, Yenduku Mogutondi Prasuti Lo, Mruthiu Kekalu Big Story, Hero Zuratri, Tomidigantala Mupinim Shalu Reading Lo, Miru Ranin Seleka Botunara Miru Professional Trader Ga Yadagalan Kutunara Ecosame HMTV Nirvahistondi Technical Analysis Workshop Live Market Practical Experience to. Stocks, Commodities, Currency Yedena Sari Vikumide Analyst Lavandi Viveralako Sampardin Sandi 9553586110 TA Workshop at HMTV.in
వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ మనకి ఫస్ట్ కాల్ ఉమాశంకర్ గారు మీరు ఎలా నుంచి కాల్ చేస్తున్నారండి ఉమాశంకర్ గారు చెప్పండి ఏం తెలుసుకోవాలనుకుంటున్నారు ఉమాశంకర్ గారు హలో ఓకే సార్ లైన్ కట్ అయింది ఇంకా వాట్ అబౌట్ బుక్స్ ఆర్ మెటీరియల్స్ యూ సజెస్ట్ ఫర్ ద ప్రిపరేషన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ అడ్వాన్స్ ఎగ్జామ్ జే అడ్వాన్స్కి మెటీరియల్ కనుక మనం తీసుకుంటే అంటే జనరల్గా నేను స్టూడెంట్స్కి ఐ మీన్ ఐ జస్ట్ వాంటెడ్ టు పుట్ ఇట్ ఇన్ ఐ లిటిల్ డిఫరెంట్ వే ఇఫ్ ఐఎమ్ టాకింగ్ ఓ ప్రిపరేషన్ ఫర్ జే అడ్వాన్స్ యూజువలీ లైక్ ఫ్రమ్ ద బిగినింగ్ స్టేజ్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ స్టార్టింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ క్లాస్ లెవెన్ ఐ టాక్ ఆఫ్ ఏ దాస్ గుప్తా ఫర్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ A. Okay, das Gupta is a book. Majority of the students are scared because the solutions for that book are not available. Okay. Questions are extremely difficult. Questions are descriptive questions and very interesting questions. Okay. So that book, if someone is used to doing from class 11 onwards, it is almost 70% preparation for JE advance. Okay. Like the preparation for JE advance doesn't start after JE mains. It has to start from class 11 only. Like I don't prepare any for, anyone for JE mains. Okay. I start preparing for JE advance only. so i always suggest a das gupta is the best book which is available and that can be used for maths as far as j advance is concerned okay the only disadvantage disadvantage with a das gupta is the calculus questions are not really up to the mark for that you require to have some wonderful question banks okay the kind of questions which are supposed to be there for calculus in a das gupta they are not available so mm-hmm. for calculus some additional material is required lot of coaching institutions are doing wonderful job that collection of material should be supplemented along with das gupta if okay. that is done maths preparation is complete okay so when it comes to physics like generally people talk of hc verma that's fine a good book and if someone can do hc verma at the mains level that is going to be sufficient okay other than hc verma next level comes erido most of the people like you know who prepare for je mains they don't even know it's um, they don't even touch erido they might be knowing so but once they are targeting for je advance like erido is definitely a must book for them in addition to that lot of question banks available lot of like uh, standard textbooks like dc pandey is there ashish sharoda there are good books galaxy physics all these books can be used but two major books one is erido and one is hc verma both okay. together are sufficient as far as physics is concerned mostly in our telugu speaking states what happens is the problem is physics okay majority of the students are scared of physics mm-hmm. the reason is mm, the kind of teaching which is going on here is slightly like you know compared to maths it is inferior as far as physics is concerned now a lot of teachers like from northern india they have migrated to our place and they are doing a great job so i mean the reason i understand is like you know there they teach physics in their mother tongue oh. here we teach physics in english, english. therefore maybe that's the area where people are finding it difficult okay they do physics like maths like okay. they don't understand the concept go on doing the questions okay so as they go on doing the question they try to memorize the concept but application of concept is lacking okay. so my suggestion is like except few teachers like there are some very good teachers even available here who teach very nice physics but i take usually pick up teachers from northern india i ask them to come and then teach for my students so the induction of concept the explanation of concept becomes very clear from them okay. so if that is done so then the understanding of the physics if it is clear the actual easiest subject is physics only okay so for our students maths they do good but when it comes to physics they do very bad so physics erido hc verma in addition to that any standard kind of textbooks they can use that and that is going to help them a lot the okay. so chemistry is the most difficult thing now come okay if good chemistry teacher is available everything he can give as a class notes okay if bad chemistry teacher is available he'll go on giving material go on giving material <laughs> and if you see any coaching institution material if you find maths this book physics this chemistry this okay so he'll have at least you know Uh, three times or four times more you know chemistry volume rather than the physics and chemistry okay but if any good teacher is there who can comprehend the things properly then chemistry becomes very easy for me okay. for any student and scoring in chemistry is going to be extremely easy okay. if you ask me chemistry books jd lee usually people prefer for inorganic chemistry organic chemistry either it can be like morrison and boyd or any standard notes of any good teacher and physical chemistry usually p badur people do it and p badur is going to be sufficient and this is these are the standard books which are required other than that 
the experienced teacher class notes is going to make lot of wonders okay so if suppose if the student is not interacting with an experienced teacher let him borrow it from somewhere and that notes if he studies systematically that is going to help him okay yes besides textbooks good teacher notes okay. like suppose if someone wants good teacher notes i can provide them okay. a xerox copy of a good teacher notes i can provide to them they can okay. take over and then they can see and then that notes if they revise that is going to make lot of benefit for these children okay. so too many books are not required okay. minimum number of books and maximum problems okay that's what fine yes. sir thank you so much what i felt is like for up to the final selections we are whenever we feel to go up to the final selections this altitude class is the best thank you thank you very much thank <laughs> you so much thank you idan divaldi carry times thank you stay tuned Minus one three percent. Bank.